So I don't know how the light is going to be because it is really dreary outside, but I'm using my window as my lighting, so hopefully it'll work. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a Goodwill thrift haul. Today was a dollar sale at my Goodwill here in Columbia. And so I went and got a few things. I only wanted to spend $20, but I spent $21. One of the items, I'm not sure if I can save it, but I'm going to really try. So that's why I'm just going to say that one probably won't be able to be saved. But it was a dollar, and I wanted to test it out and see. Um, I need to stay and treat it. So. Anyway, um, so my receipt is long. Um, I spent $21 and I saved $68.75. Um, does it say how many items I purchased? Well, obviously, 21. Anyway, so yeah. Um, some things I picked up I've never picked up before. Um, I have to admit something. I feel like I'm failing really hard in my Poshmark closet. I haven't had any sales in two days. Um, and this is about the time whenever I don't have sales for that long where I start freaking out and I'm like, okay, I need to go cross post. I need to go to eBay. I need to go to Mercari. I need to do this. I need to do that. And then my sales will come back eventually. But it's like the feeling that I get, I feel like giving up, like just quitting. This is what not having sales does to me. It makes me feel like I'm doing something wrong. Um, and I just don't know, like I've really, it's odd because I have so much engagement in my closet, but not a single sell, nobody accepting any offers. So, um, this week has been tough. Monday and Tuesday have, they were my worst days, um, so far this month. And, um, overall I've had a great month. I've sold over $2,000 in net. Um, so, I mean, I was able to pay all my bills. Everything's caught up. It feels good. But at the same time, I'm like, well, I've got bills coming up here in November, so I need some money. Where is it at? And it's just not happening. So I don't know. I'm just hoping it all picks up. If not, then I'll be going out and getting a job. But anyway, so yeah, I spent $21. All right, so I guess I should go ahead and get into this haul. Um, some of these things I've never picked up before. Brands I've never picked up. I did sit there and do some comping just to make sure that I wasn't wasting my my time um i did pick put back a lot of anthropology because comping it was just stuff it was it was oversaturated and the price was like oh it might sell for like 12 to 15 bucks and yes i may have paid a dollar for it but i was like yeah i don't think so so i just put some of those things back so there's a lot of anthropology at our our goodwill right now um but anywho's all right so the first thing that i got this does not have a label it doesn't have a material label it has nothing but Feeling it, it feels like a linen cotton blend, but it was very pretty, and that's why I picked up. It is a dress. Now, it's got like, I don't know what you call these, like, is this a mandala? I don't know. But anyway, so it's just this cute, it's like a very see-through dress, but it's so pretty. And you know what? I'll keep it for myself if I can't sell it. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a, it's got to be at least an extra large, if not a 1X. Um, just because, I mean, it, it looks like it would fit me and that's about what I wear. So, um, it's a pretty dress. I like the coloring. I like the designs. I wish there was like some type of sign on it telling what it was, but there's not. So I'm going to measure it up and I'll test it out and I'll see. And maybe I can find another one like it online and then I can, I'll know the information for it. So, um, but if not, like I said, I'll keep it for myself. It is beautiful. I like it. So yeah, that's that. The next item is a pair of North Face sweatpants. These are women's, size large. I really want to focus on getting larger items in my closet because I do know that larger items sell faster. Another thing about my closet is I have tons and tons of size 2s and size 4s and size 0s. And they sit, they do, they sit forever. So it's just very hard to find larger sizes of women's clothing, um, especially at the thrift store. Like the plus size stuff I find, it's just, it isn't cute. Um, you know, it's just kind of outdated and it's just not cute at all. And 
it's very rare to find anything that is stylish for a plus size woman um, unfortunately so anyway this is size large these are just north face they are just a pair of gray sweatpants and um, they do have the drawstring in them they have a pocket on the back this is Brandy Melville it's just a cute little um, I guess it's a crop top it's just like a button-up crop top thing Brandy Melville doesn't sell for a lot but a lot of younger folks like this brand and they will purchase it I don't know how much the government 15 bucks maybe um, I don't know but one thing I've noticed is certain brands pull more people into your closet whether they buy it or not you get a lot of engagement so all right so this is Lilica now this is anthropology the only reason I got this was because it was a dress um, and Lilica and Lilica I don't find a lot of their clothing so I feel like it's a more rare brand for anthropology but I'm not a hundred percent on that um, but yeah it's just this cute little mini dress it has just a bunch of random designs on it um, it is a summer dress as for sizing oh does it have a size yeah it does this is a size large so that's a plus but yeah um, it's got 66170 on the RN. All right, the next item are these Anthropology Pilcrow and the Letterpress. These are size 25s. Um, I can't read what that says, but I'll figure it out. I believe these are high waisted, but I could be wrong. They do have food on the crotch. It's not, I thought it was like a bleach spot, and I started rubbing on it. Um, and it started smearing so I'm pretty sure it's like chocolate or something god I hope um, but anyway so these are just a pair of uh, like stretchy corduroys they kind of bunch up kind of it's kind of weird um, but yeah they're cute they are stretchy um, I'll test them out obviously I have to wash them so <laughs> okay so the next item is this free people we the free it is just a crop top um, I checked it for holes because a lot of the times these types of tops have holes in them I did not find any but anyway so it's just this cute little crop top um, I have no idea how bad my lighting is honestly because like I said it's very dreary outside I'm using my window I could have brought my lamp in here but I just didn't feel like carrying it upstairs so hopefully colors are showing up properly um, I, I really can't tell in my viewfinder so but yeah so there's that the next item is this ruby moon i keep picking ruby moon up the comps aren't high but it sells fast every single ruby moon uh, sweater that i put in my closet in the last month has sold within two or three days so that's why i keep picking it up it's ruby moon it's just this cute little sweater it does kind of feel cheap it doesn't feel like a you know a cozy warm heavy type material um, it feels acrylic um, I could be wrong but let's look it up and see it's polyester acrylic cotton wool and spandex so it's a mixture but anyway so it's just this cute little sweater it's got this bottom thing going on here and yeah the next item is this velvet heart dress it is like a button front dress it is uh i believe this is tinsel i have a pair of pants just like it same color in my closet but yeah so it's just like a button front dress it is a size large too i believe yes it's a size large so all right um i picked up this carlisle blazer jacket um it's cotton rayon acetate lining um it's just a little cropped blazer jacket now I do pick up Carlisle if you didn't know they are pretty pricey retail obviously they're very high um, some of their comps are extremely high some of them are extremely low it just depends wool seems to sell best for them so if you find a Carlisle wool jacket you know look at comps because a lot of them do sell pretty quickly within like a week and for you know 30 to 50 dollars around that i don't remember what i sold my last one for it may have been under 30 but it wasn't i didn't take under 20 i don't believe um but anyway so this is just a cropped like a greenish turquoise teal whatever color it is jacket um i don't know um i gotta wash it 
and hopefully I can wash it. I didn't even look that up. Oh, dry clean only. Oh, well, it's still going to get washed. <laughs> All right, so I picked this up, and the only reason I picked this up, it's BCX, um, is because I have the matching skirt that is new with tags. I've had it for almost a year, and it has not sold, but now I've got the top that goes with it, so maybe I can sell it as a skirt set, and it might sell. Um, I didn't realize it was a skirt set until I saw this. I was like, oh, wait, this is, this is the same thing as the skirt that I have, so yes. I will put those together on the mannequin. Um, I don't know much about this brand. I did look it up on Poshmark, but I didn't really see anything. Um, it's Annie Kern. And it's just a basic fitted button up top. It is starting to get dark outside. We've had rain for the last two days. And Halloween's tomorrow. And I want to take my kid Halloween, you know, trick or treating. But I feel like it's going to be raining tomorrow. All right, so this is a pair of Topshop extra, extra, extra large pants. Um, they definitely don't stretch like they're extra, extra large or extra, extra, extra large. But they are just like a pair of Capri leggings. Um, I, I don't know in what world this is XXXL, but okay. All right, I picked up this cute little Vans tee. That's all, just a little Vans tee. This is a pair of Boyfriend Cut Levi's, size 20W. I've never picked up Levi's in this size before. They do look pretty short. I need to wash them. I just see a little spot right here on the knee. Um, we'll see how they do. I have no idea. The last two pairs of Levi's I... Uh, purchase sold pretty quickly within the last two weeks all right so these I may have trouble with I don't know yet so these are Patagonia and they are women's um, they are a size 10 they are these um, khaki lightweight you know those pants but the problem with these and these are the ones I wasn't gonna buy but I decided I'd try to wash them they have all of this all over the back so I'm going to try to stain treat it. I feel like maybe it's from the carts at the store and I usually am able to get that right out. It's just dirt. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to try it out. And if I don't get the stain out, then I'll just redonate it or I'll just take it back up there tomorrow and get my money back, my dollar. Trade it out for something I put away yesterday. So, okay. Um, the next item are these Adriana Goldschmied. These are the stilt crops. Um, the cigarette crop so they are just jeans crop jeans um, I believe these are mid-rise they are definitely not high-rise but yeah um, these usually go pretty quickly at least they did in the spring I don't know they may sit until spring but they are in great condition so I wasn't gonna leave them behind for a dollar so that's a good brand to pick up um, this is do and be I've never picked up this brand before. I just, it was on the dollar rack for the dresses and I looked up comps. Comps are kind of all over the place, but I did not see a dress like this. I think it's a dress, but it's this polka dot chambray looking. It's just like, like a short mini dress. It's got pockets right here and it zips up the back. It's really cute. I mean, I think it's cute. You might not think so, but I do. Um, I wouldn't wear it <laughs> um, because obviously it's too small for me. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I will test it out and I will see if it does move. I don't know. I like testing certain things out because you just never know. I mean, there's plenty of things that I purchased that sold really quick that I had never even familiarized myself with before. So, all right. These are Athleta. These are size 10s. They are just a Capri. Um, you know, it's still warm here. So people are still buying that type of clothing. It doesn't really get cold here in South Carolina until I would say it just depends really on the year but I would say about January through March it's pretty cold here um, we have very short winters um, I mean every now and then you'll get a really cold day but then like a couple days later it'll be hot you'll be sweating and it's just this state it, nothing it can't it's just nothing can make up its mind around here when it comes to the weather it's ridiculous. 
All right, so these are Levi's jeans. These are just a women's button front um, skirt. I do need to wash these as well because they have a stain on the front. But there, it's just this midi dress uh, skirt with buttons. Yeah, these are size eight. This is one of the anthropology pieces that I was going to put away, um, put back. It's, it's only going to sell for about 15 but I noticed that it is actually still selling quite often, so I, I went ahead and picked it up. It's just this gingham um, wrappy top. And last but not least, we have a pair of Eileen Fisher size extra large britches. Uh-oh with a big old hole on the butt, which I'll have to get my mommy to um, sew up for me. <laughs> but yeah, so they do have a hole on the back side, which I can ask mommy to please hem them for me. As you can see, there's a little hole there. But yeah, these are cute. Um, they are extra large, so I said, why not? I've seen where a lot of people have a lot of success with Eileen Fisher pants. I've never found pants for her um, that I can remember, except for jeans. So yeah. That is it. That is everything in my haul today. I just wanted to get a few more things to put in my closet. I really don't source like I used to. I miss sourcing, but I think things will start getting better. But, you know, Christmas is coming up, and I, I need to be able to provide for my kids, you know, and get them presents and family. And we got all these get-togethers, family get-togethers, making food. and So I have to save my money. I have to... Um, do a lot of deleting and relisting in the next couple months um, until after Christmas. Usually after Christmas things really do pick back up and I usually have a, well I did last year, I had a good January through April um, and then it kind of went downhill from there for a few months so um, we'll see. I hope things get better. Hopefully with the things that I've got I'll obviously be able to make my money back um, and a little bit more on top of that so um, I hope my lighting was okay. I will obviously look at this when I edit the video and hopefully it'll be okay. I might have to lighten it <laughs> through filters. I don't know, but that is it. So I will talk to you all in my next video. If you have any kind of requests for videos that you want me to do, let me know in the comments section. Um, I'm open to anything to be quite honest. I'm just like sitting around thinking, what can I do next? I really, there's just so many things to do, but I like to do... Uh, tutorials with my microphone and I still don't have a microphone um, so I can't do those but I can do them on my phone or I can do them like this so if you have an idea shoot me a comment down below and I will consider it so I will talk to you all in the next video bye